History books, for the most part, portray Africa as an uncivilized continent. Enlightenment, the scientific revolution, and the industrial revolution, as well as a plethora of other revolutions, are often thought to have begun in Europe. With all theories isolating and highlighting global accomplishments and inventions and innovations from a Eurocentric perspective, it's easy to understand why there are people who believe that everything great came from the Western world. Unbeknownst to most, and contrary to what textbook publishers depict, a rich grain of history and essential innovations were made and existed in the great African continent. Most people are only familiar with well-known inventions such as cars, light bulbs, and smartphones. But there are breakthrough contributions from the African continent across fields such as medicine, energy, e-commerce, and many more industries. Join us today in our video as we take a look at a collection of inventions that have come from the ingenuity of African innovators, ranging from fiber optics for high-speed internet to the first human-to-human -human heart transplant. Make sure to give our video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Dr. Thomas Mensa is a Ghanaian-American chemical engineer and inventor who contributed to the development of fiber optics and nanotechnology. But for his work, fiber optics would not be what it is today. The massive contributions of this son of global Africa have greatly changed the world. But you will not find his name in neon lights, unlike those of his white colleagues. In fact, the majority of Africans and others throughout the world with African ancestry haven't ever heard of him. But because of his innovation, the world is now able to communicate at a high level of internet speed, and he has even helped the U.S. military establish its dominance in the field of laser-guided missiles. Researchers at Corning had previously developed fiber optic with loss below the crucial attenuation limit of 20 decibels per kilometer, but the fibers could not be manufactured at rates higher than 2 meters per second. Mensa improved the manufacturing process through a series of innovations, raising the speed of manufacture to 20 meters per second by 1985. This made the cost of optical fiber comparable to traditional copper cables. Mensa received the Corning Glass Works Individual Outstanding Contributor Award for this work in 1985. His work ultimately raised the speed of manufacture above 50 meters per second. This was the breakthrough the industry needed for a spectacular takeoff. Dr. Mensa's innovation in fiber optics has made the U.S. the leader in the internet space globally, spurring Fortune 500 companies like Facebook, Google, and Amazon, among others, that have generated trillions of dollars for America. Mensa also led a program to develop the first laser-guided weapons for the U.S. Department of Defense Guided Missile Program. This program enabled the development of missiles that travel at the speed of sound, which occurs around Mach 1. This laser-based targeting technology is now used by all military platforms, including drones. Dr. Mensa has 14 patents and was inducted into the U.S. National Academy of Inventors in 2015. To improve health delivery in hospitals, Sei Oyesola, a Nigerian doctor, created a hospital in a box. It is a self-powered, off-the-grid, handheld hospital that uses wireless technology that allows doctors to do quick medical examinations anywhere in the world. The spirometer, electrocardiogram, nebulizer, otoscope, temperature, cuff, pulse oximetry, and wireless transmitter are all included in the handheld box, which can be powered by solar, AC or DC battery or vehicular power. On December 3, 1967, Christian Barnard, a South African cardiac surgeon, and his team performed the world's first human-to-human -human heart transplant operation. Louis Washkansky, a 53-year-old South African grocer dying from chronic heart disease, received the transplant from Denise Darval, a 25-year-old woman killed in a car accident. Surgeon Christian Barnard, who trained at the University of Cape Town and in the United States, performed the groundbreaking medical procedure making him the world's first human-to-human -human heart transplant surgeon. In fairness, the technique Barnard used was developed in the 1950s by a group of American researchers, but was never used on a human. In 1958, American surgeon Norman Shumway achieved the first successful heart transplant on a dog 
at Stanford University in California. Samira Musa, an Egyptian nuclear physicist, dedicated her life to making atomic radiation for medical purposes affordable and accessible to everybody after her mother died of cancer. The Atomic Energy for Peace Conference was founded by her. One of her significant calculations paved the way for the atoms of inexpensive metals to be broken down. But she was first and primarily a proponent of nuclear weapons defense. Her main goal was to use nuclear power to benefit humanity rather than hurt it. Another invention in medicine was the CardioPad, a touchscreen medical tablet invented by Mark Arthur, a Cameroonian. At the time of his invention, Arthur was 24 years old. The CardioPad is a touchscreen medical tablet that allows cardiac examinations, such as the electrocardiogram to be done in remote, rural regions, while the test results are wirelessly transmitted to professionals who can interpret them. The technology eliminates the need for African patients in distant areas to go to urban hospitals for medical checks. Next, we have Rashi Ghazami, a Moroccan physicist who developed the reversible intercalation of lithium into graphite in electrochemical cells in 1980. Later, the discovery led to the development of the lithium graphite anode which is presently utilized in commercial lithium-ion batteries. He later emigrated from Morocco and is the holder of more than 50 patents relating to lithium primary and rechargeable batteries. One medical invention that came from Africa is the CAT scan. The device was invented by Alan Cormack, a South African physicist. Alan Cormack and his colleague Godfrey Hounsfield won the Nobel Prize in 1979 for the invention of the computer axial tomography scans. Cormack is said to have provided the mathematical technique for CAT scanning, which uses X-rays and electronic detectors to rotate around the body and produce images that can be medically analyzed by a computer. Honda did not originate in Africa, but without the work of Nigerian Bisi Azirioa, some of Honda's most powerful aspirated single overhead camshaft engines would not exist. This renowned racing driver, engine builder, engineer, and entrepreneur is responsible for Honda engines such as the D16A6, D15B7, F22A, F18A, and D16Z6. Is by Sumoto Engineering Firm's work has since grown to include turbocharged Hondas and Porsche 911s, and his achievements have been recognized globally in the car industry. Mark Shuttleworth is the next African innovator on our list. Shuttleworth launched Thought, an online consultancy firm, in 1999, during his final year of college. His company was the first to create commercially viable full-security encrypted web servers outside of the United States. It went on to become one of the world's fastest-growing internet certification authorities before being sold to very sign, making Shuttleworth a billionaire overnight and putting South Africa on the map in the digital world. In 2001, Shuttleworth purchased a seat on a Russian spacecraft for $20 million and launched the first African in space project. Insight, a spacecraft belonging to America's National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, landed on Mars. According to the New York Times, the spacecraft is expected to study Mars underworld, listening for Mars quakes and seeking clues about the dusty world's formation. While this may ordinarily be an American conquest or achievement, Ghanaians have every right to join in the jubilation. This is because at the heart of the historic landing on Mars, is the remarkable work of Ghanaian engineer Dr. Ashite Trevi Alanu, who is the team lead for inside at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Dr. Trevi Alanu builds robotic components for planetary exploration, a dream that began as a young child in Ghana. He is in charge of the InSight mission's robotic arm and hand. Born in Ghana, Dr. Trevi Alanu has been working at NASA since 1999 
and has risen to become the chief engineer of robotics at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. A South African scientist created the groundbreaking digital laser technology as part of his PhD research. Sandal and Jacobo, a University of KwaZulu Natal scientist who worked on the world's first digital laser at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research at the National Laser Center, paved the way for revolutionary new technologies in communications, medicine, and manufacturing, among other fields. According to the research team, laser beams may be digitally directed from within a laser device to the rest of the world. Because South Africa had one of the few labs in the world that specialized in holograms and lasers, and Jacobo was able to begin developing the digital gadget with guidance from his supervisor, Professor Andrew Forbes, who directed the research team. That sums up our video for today. Let us know in the comments any other innovations from other Africans we might have missed. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen which presents the ancient African inventions that changed the world. As always give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.